in marriage there are times when you're going to be apart and then um, if you are in ministry those times will might be more than just you know regular people that have regular jobs well our daddy is back home daddy yes welcome to today's vlog i'm showing you what i did to surprise my husband um while he was away on a one week mission trip he went out of the country for a conference welcome Well, hello everyone. My name is Lade Oulabi. I am so excited to have you on my channel today and I want to just thank all of you, all of you, all of you for your love and support um, on my channel and especially in the last video. If you haven't seen that last video, please make sure you do see it. Um, I documented how I took this shoot and why I did it and all of that and I give a shout out to my amazing photographer, Zionite. His number is still on the screen so please Reach out to Zionite if you want to do a shoot. He's available to travel anywhere around the world. Yes, and he is very affordable. Yeah, I make videos about faith, family, uh, marriage, relationships, and you know, just things like that. And I came from the city of Abelkota, Ogo State, Nigeria. So let's get into today's vlog. Are you ready? Are you? Don't worry, you'll learn something. Hello my YouTube family, um, good morning, welcome to another vlog. So if you're new here, because we just keep getting new subscribers guys, my name is Lade Olabi, I'm a pastor and a pastor's wife and I make videos from here, the city of Abel Kuta, Ogo State, Nigeria. Today's vlog, as you can already tell, I decided to start the vlog now. Um, my husband traveled for a, um, a mission trip. Right? He's out of the country and he's going to be away for a whole week. He went for a conference. Um, so he went to attend the conference. Um, very soon I know he'll be speaking at conferences like that in Jesus' name. But for now, we're still, we're still learning, we're still training and we're always going to keep learning. Anyways, so he's gone for a whole week. Today is day two. He was gone on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. Today is day two. The children are on summer holidays um, and we have guests in the house. We have zoe's um cousins in christ <laughs> at the house and um, they're currently at music school music lesson in the church today i'm going to start the vlog to the process of me transforming pj's office so i'm currently sitting on pj's chair um in his office and we currently share this office right now but i'm almost always never here right so uh yeah this is our office and um, i'm expecting the painter and the carpenter who are going to work with me in transforming the office the painter guy his name is kazim you guys have met him before on the channel when we that's for the ogs when we moved to our current place where we stay in abelkuta kazim was the one that helped us with painting he's our painter he has been our painter since we came to abelkuta and i want to say thank you because some some of you Although I don't even know you because I put Kazim's number in that vlog, you guys reached out to him. Kazim has done maybe seven to ten projects, main major projects, house projects. He said some of my subscribers called him from Germany, and I'm like, I don't even know people watch me from Germany. Anyways, yes, yeah, so yeah, I guess this is a good time to say, let me know where you're watching me from. Say it in the comments. Kazim will be here any moment, and I know when he gets here, it will be loud. So I don't want to do this introduction before he gets here. Once he's here with the carpenter, then I would, um, you know, just show Kazim and he'll say hello. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward. I don't know how it's going to be. I know his office just needs to be painted. It's painted white. I don't know if you can see in this. That couch, the bookshelf. I'll do a proper um, sightseeing of what it looks like. So it's painted white, and white is really low maintenance because when white is dirty you just paint over it um, but this time we're going to use a better paint this time and Kazim makes the paints yeah I think that's one of the things that fascinated people in that particular vlog I'm going to put the link up he makes paint so he so this particular paint is not scrubbable but the one he makes is scrubbable satin right this one is emotion and he makes satin paint so yes that's um that's what's happening today the beginning and the negotiation <laughs> let's um treat the man of god i like i like doing that you know let him come back and see that something has changed i think i've this is enough introduction i'll see you when kazim gets hello. here hello <laughs> okay okay let the work be nice we'll make a for your number oh. That's what I want for. 
You get fans. You know what I say you get fans. Not be from Germany, they call you. I mean, I will soon go Delta back now. Okay, now, nah, okay, Delta let you share. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, to to oh, wow. Am I, and it's something about work. Think about Shisha to that. There's no really need to do that. Exactly. Okay. The meaning of what he said is a Yoruba proverb, but ideally that thing is even from the Bible, where it says that the gift of a man will make room for him, where he will stand before kings and not before mean men. So they're just trying to say that, you know, if people see their work, if they like their work, they'll call them. Well, I guess it's up to you, the people. Anyways, we're going to negotiate at this point, and they were charging me so much, guys. Remember, PJ is not aware, so I have to be able to explain the arithmetical arithmetics. Look at him licking his tongue. You just know that he was charging me. And my dear son, Abaya me was, was there to save me and just help me use Yoruba to balance it very well. But you know, it was reasonable, but it was still quite a lot. They can't work there. Number one, ask. Number two, it says six. Later that day, we had, you know, I think we had all night at home. So it's not every time we have all night, but except there's a reason to. Um, we just have our usual regular devotion. And in a very soon to come vlog, we're going to see some of the activities we're engaging. Um, a full house is, is interesting, it has its challenges, but overall, I can say that it's interesting. <laughs> Today is, what's today? Friday and today I am getting ready to leave the house. I'm vlogging today. Vlogging feels good. Thank you so much all of you for watching, for you know just being here, being part of this family. I really appreciate you. So what do I have to do today? Today is Friday. PJ is likely coming back from Ghana tomorrow or Sunday or maybe Monday. I'm not sure. I'll be sure by the end of today. Um, and so this vlog is about his office transformation and more than just the office transformation um yesterday during service um god told me to go out today to do evangelism and do so when he preach the gospel to students of mashuda biola polytechnic and i announced it in church and i said it's a personal thing but anybody that wants to join me should come along so i'm trying to get my baby ready zion is going to be coming with me so I'm looking forward to how the day will turn out because I still need to take the children. I need to supervise the um, renovations. I need to take the children to... They have swimming lessons today, so I need to take them to swimming lessons today. And what else? Mm -hmm. And then I have a love circle meeting this evening. I'm actually looking forward to that. Um, this is not a vlog about the love circle, but very soon I will officially introduce you guys to the love circle um, the love circle is basically a community an online community of women around the world <laughs> the bag. please guys come on let's pray let's pray before we go we are in church and we're ready to go to Moshud Abiola Polytechnic we are going to catch fish for God we're going to go catch fish for God Guys, come on, come on, come on. Let's hold hands. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Ebra Nasha name Bredeko Zabamba Rana Nosta. Thank you, Jesus. All right. So before we left, we spent some time praying. That's Pastor Kess in the Burgundy shirt. I'm going to tell you more about Pastor Kess in this vlog. So please, yes, just stay tuned. He needs to spoil us. Anyhow, this is the check of how the office looks like right now. Look at how the ceiling is dirty. You know the walls are white but they're dirty when the white when the lights are on you'll not even see this dirty you know it looks okay but we that we know that it's dirty we know that it's dirty and then the our anniversary is coming up we're 24 light light church is 24 and i just wanted to reduce this from the amount of expenses and things to do that will be on pj's neck and i know he really would like to do his office we've actually spoken about it and i just decided you know i'm going to do it and yes we got to Moshud at biola polytechnic for evangelism i was even surprised when i announced it in the service the day before um the night before i was surprised that people turned out but thank you all of you who came along we are here we are here we're here yeah, yeah, yeah. we're here we're here we're here we're here, we are here. Or should i be a polytechnic for jesus we come in the power of the holy ghost 
All right, so quick fun fact, Mashoud Abiola Polytechnic is also known as MAPOLI. Um, it's a tertiary institution, it's a tertiary learning institution in Abel Kuta Ogo State. Um, and this particular campus is also known as Ujiri. We had a great time evangelizing, met with the amazing guys. Much hey. Allah say something! Oh, <laughs> I'm so grateful that some of them came to church on Sunday. Like, I was so happy. The others that did not come were discouraged because these ones that came told the others that if you don't have clothes like this, you can't come to church, which is not true. It's not true. It pained me. Okay, I want to use this opportunity to give Pastor Derek a shout out. <laughs> he helped me with Zion. And everybody who came along, honestly, all the leaders, ministers who came along from Light Life Church. Um, and we even had like just regular people from church come and join us. And it was really, really encouraging that I didn't go there alone, even though I was ready to go alone. So thank you so much. Mapoli for Jesus. Mapoli for Jesus. I built it after Jesus. Yes, this was so much fun. Mapoli for Jesus! So I don't think I've mentioned that the genesis of this whole Mapoli um, evangelism was because PG and I had decided that we're going to start going to institutions personally, like just the two of us. Um, and so I decided to do this even while he was away, but then people joined us. So this is Pastor Kess buying things for the guys and he just always likes to spoil us. Shout out to Pastor Kess of KC Waters. Um, Pastor Kess has a water company and then um, they produce pure water, bottled water. So if you want any um, water uh, supplier around Southwest, or we'll stay in Lagos. Yeah, we got you. We got you, right, Pastor Kess? Oh, no, no. See, if you want to eat it, to mash and only by blood alone. You have to add granules. And uh, you know, pure water, mineral. So, as a matter of emphasis, this is Minister Christian. Um, and we were supposed to be fasting, but I believe he broke his fast early, maybe three or two of I don't even know what time this was. Um, and Mapoli, I think, was embarrassed. <laughs> so, we had leftover water. We we're actually going to be students, but then we we're about to leave. And I said, let me just evangelize and give it to these guys. And if you notice, I put one in my mouth and I was actually drinking it because. You don't want them to think you're giving them hmm, Nigeria is different now. You don't want people when people do nice things, they, they sometimes have a motive. I was just, you know, sharing because we were in evangelism and this is how you can preach the gospel. Although I wasn't preaching to them, I was just giving them water. Shout out to IBK, Miss IBK that is carrying the cooler cover. Hello guys. So I'm in PJ's office and I'm just taking a nap with Zion. It's a lot to manage a home and just life generally. I mean, look how busy this day has been for me. From the Mapoli outreach, um, now I'm here. I was disappointed by the artisans who were supposed to collect you know, the shelf and figure out the painting to get started. I've not done that. Um, I'm still thinking about how I'm going to go home, get the children ready for swimming lesson and drop them off at swimming lesson, of course, with you know, guidance to watch over them, come back to church to have a meeting with the ladies, like I said in the beginning, and just dealing with all these things, like, mm, it is well, oh. It is well. What is it? What is it? Then go tomorrow is Saturday. I'm going to try and uh, just rest. Now that I think about it, I don't know if rest is in my schedule. Um, the painter is going to get busy. PJ is coming. I need to make something yummy for him, although we're fasting, but still. Anyways, let me leave you guys for now. I will see you guys later. so so super grateful that the floating shelf and this cabinet thing came out to really really nice shout out to Tosi. um this was i was you know done dropping children of a swimming lesson my phone died so i couldn't record any of that and these are my ladies this is the leadership of the love circle and i'm really really excited to have them this is not a light life church thing by the way so it's not 
my church ladies. These are the ladies of the love circle. And um, I'm just so, so blessed that they are a part of this. I love you guys so much. And don't worry, guys, a whole vlog will be dedicated to the announcement of the love circle. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So it's the Hello. next day. And PJ is already in Nigeria on his way guys to be honest i feel a bit somehow mixed feelings because i really wanted this um remodeling or painting or whatever name you want to call it i wanted it to be really really grand you know but um with our resources with with our limited resources we will only do what we can um and the best way we can so the painter is already there the shelf was delivered yesterday and then um, i'm going now to just see how it's going and um, get a few things in the market so that i can make a nice meal for pj when he comes so yes that's what's happening this morning and um this vlog will end after he sees you know the reveal I really wish I want I want to make a direct curtains. I'm still going to do those things, but I really wish I could do them like before he arrived, you know. But anyways, I miss my husband so much, guys. If so, if you're married to a pastor or if you plan to marry my get married to a pastor, just get ready because there'll be times when they're away, sometimes more than others, like the length of time. Either way, we move, we move, we move. So yeah, that's happening today. I'm just excited. I'm going to see my husband i'm going to take this time to pray for marriages um anyone who's watching this that is in a, mar a troubled marriage or you know somebody in a troubled marriage i touch and agree with you that the peace of god will flood your home there's um nothing like the peace of god the peace that only god can give and that peace is a person and that person is jesus christ so i pray for every marriage that's troubled because guys it's not like these thoughts don't come to our minds, like do something nice for your spouse. But then when you think about some of the things they do that you're not so happy with, you know, you're discouraged and you're like, oh, this person doesn't even deserve it, right? But again, what did we do to ever deserve the love that God has for us? You know, so I just pray for healing and wholeness and peace in every marriage and every home. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Okay, did you hear that? Kazim is greeting you guys good morning and explaining why he's late. He was supposed to come the day before. PJ is already in Nigeria. He's already in Abelkuta actually. And, you know, Abayomi went to pick him up. Um, but then I told him, take him home directly. Take him home. And guess where they came to first? Church. Abayomi, you are fired. After I told him not to come. <laughs> It was so good to have him back. PJ, I love you so much. I know you already know that, but then I'm telling you again in this vlog that I love you so much and I really appreciate who you are and all that you stand for. Um, I think what I love most about my husband um, is that he fears God. Not that he's a man of God, not at all, but that he fears God. He fears God. He has the fear of God inside his heart. Um, and that's a gift. It's a gift that I'm most grateful for about my husband. Um, yes, this was really nice um, surprising him. He's both the surprise, but it was still worth it at the end of the day. He, you know, just looked around and and then when we left where everybody was, he was asking me, Bulotiro, that means where did you get money from? <laughs> from above, above, above. Kazim! Kazim! <laughs> yeah, I, I thought this guy, I thought he was running away. Like he left his boys, I was running away, but he went to get them breakfast. Kazim said it's porero. He bought porero, so I came to take a look at the porero. Unfortunately, I couldn't eat out of it because we were fasting, but um, the porero looked good. Shout out to every hardworking man out there. I mean, look at PJ. Instead of him to just go straight home, came to church, and trust and believe he had a lot of work in there to do. Yeah. Hey. Hey. After being away for one whole week, he was really excited. I think he left Sunday evening, and this is Saturday evening. So yeah, Saturday sometime in the day time. He was really excited to be back. He was working, had some meetings with some leaders. We we're about to launch Mission of the Flu, um, and yes, it was really nice. I think we went home like late afternoon, almost getting towards evening. And I came to check on the progress of the work before we started to head home and Kazim and his boys were on it.
So the work is going on. This place is already changing and transforming. Wow. Oga Kazu, emitting all you. Yes, um, we've come to the end of the vlog. I want to just thank you so much for watching. Please, if you've not liked the video, like it now, please now. <laughs> and leave a comment. Let me know. Do you learn something new? Um, what's your favorite part of the vlog? And yes, thank you. Um, so daddy's back home. And of course, I had to, this is pounded yam. Um, but the, the powdered version of pounded yam. And I served my husband this with some, guess, guess, guess the soup. It's not a good seal. Oh, but no. Obono, Pandegam and Obono hits differently, if you know. Testify in the comments below. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching. Until next time, <laughs> don't forget to be the best version of you. I really thank you, YouTube, for this opportunity to make vlogs because it just really feels good that you can document some of these things. Thank you, guys. Bye.